subscribers is gonna be coming here for an on-site visit. It's funny how sheep and cats get along perfectly though. And you can see what's happened here. Uh, the teeth are missing. Somehow on YouTube, they don't seem to be eating this fast. Oh, Lost really? The other end of the feeder there and see if he follows you already. Good morning, I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. This morning we're gonna start off doing chores in the coveralls because even though it's cloudy, it's not raining and Arnie's gonna give the manure a try again today. So he's gotta get out of here quickly. So we're starting a little bit backwards. Always fun for something new. Come on and join us. Today is a bit of a special day because one of our subscribers who comments pretty well every day is going to be coming here for an on-site visit. So that's always exciting. Unfortunately, it's not the cleanest for visitors today because it has been damp and with the damp weather the bedding gets dirty and unfortunately Arnie just doesn't have the time to put down a whole bunch of straw today. Normally we would do that for visitors. We like it to be nice and tidy for people. But you know how busy we are and he, there's only so many hours in the day. Hi you guys. We're gonna have visitors today. Are you gonna be friendly when they come? Or are you gonna be scared? You should be friendly. Yeah, if it stays nice like this, we might just let these guys out this afternoon in the baby paddock. Hi, hot lips. Hi. The boys are pretty mellow this morning, too. They're all freshly dewormed. You feel bad now because you want them to go outside. Hi. But we're getting you dewormed. Yeah, hi. Oh my goodness, you guys are so nice. Oh, you are so nice. Okay, because we started in the coveralls and ended up here, Everybody in this barn is kind of already in siesta mode. Hi everyone. You guys look so chill. It's nice when you're like this. Quiet. Not deafening. Hi Tommy. Arnie's mm -hmm. out working with the manure again. <laughs> He's got a big chunk of it away. <laughs> Hi, buddies. Are you looking forward to visitors today? Yeah, you're handsome. They're gonna like you, yeah. So we put the, got the straw or the bedding rolled out for these girls. So they're feeling a lot better now because it's nice and clean in here. And um, at this time of year, we do have to put bedding out more frequently because it's been really damp weather for the last few weeks anyway. Right now, it started off kind of dismal looking and I thought it was gonna be a nasty day. But right now it actually, the sun's coming out and it's actually looking 
like it might be a nice afternoon. So we might luck out and might be able to go outside in the field with the visitors today. But I see we have a few more itchy ones in here. We're going to be vaccinating in a few days. And at that time we're going to probably delice a few of them at the same time as we give them their yearly vaccines. You can hear Arnie's out removing manure. That's his plan for the whole day today, so needs to be done. Tommy, are you showing off? I swear all the animals at our place are so needy, attention seeking. Here he comes. He's going to go visit with all the sheep now. He was in with the Dorsets when I walked in the barn. Now he's come this way. It's funny how sheep and cats get along perfectly though. It's funny after getting sheared. <laughs> Knockout looks so little now. You do. You're silly. I know. That was a nice hop and skip you did. I know. You just want to rub. You are needy too. Cats, needy dogs, needy sheep. My goodness. Hi there. Hi. We can see you. You're going to have visitors. You're going to like it. You will. I know, you're friendly. Hi girls. Hi girls. <laughs> what happened? Did Tommy give you a little scratch? So I just brought the spreader back. We're done using it. We actually rent the spreader off of off a of feedlot down the road. And you can see what's happened here. The teeth are missing. Missing. They're bent right over. This one's completely gone. So I'm having a hard time. I'm having a hard time spreading the manure. Hopefully they repair this a little bit. But without teeth, it's really hard to spread the manure. You can see that they're they're wore right off, bent right back. Gotta spend some money and we repair these teeth. This one here, you see this one here? It's actually bent right over. But I'm done for today. Probably get it back around Christmas. Our visitors have arrived. So this is Allison and Audrey. Hello. They're here now. They, because they're subscribers, they know that if you come to visit here, part of the deal is that you're going to be on YouTube. You should know your way around here, right? What's your name? These are the jugs. Yeah, these are the lambing jugs, and <laughs> which, which, which are empty right now, very shortly to be full. And that's why we had to come either now or yeah. in the summer. Yeah, yeah. So these, these are the boys. <laughs> hey boys, we'll go peek at them through the other side. No, I don't know Max from Ben. No. Ben is the one that's going to be in your face with us all the time. He's more, a little more brown. He's a little smaller. This yeah, this is Ben. Hello. Max is the one that's always hiding and stalking. Okay. Hey, Benny. You got visitors? Wow. So these are the pregnant dorsets. Whoa. So they're pretty mellow. Hello. They're eating In really general, fast. they just got fed uh, a short on, while ago. Somehow on YouTube, they don't seem to be eating this fast. Oh, really? <laughs> and I show it all the time, don't you, I? Yeah. I feel like do. I show you it too much. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, 
We are on social media. <laughs> <laughs> So they're meeting knockout right now. We weren't sure if uh, he would come over with people he didn't know, but if you offer him a scratch, that, that uh, wins him over every time. You should, you, you gotta watch the video when we share him off. It is so funny. He looks a little embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is clothed. He's sitting down. He's like, oh, don't look. Oh, he's a showboat. And the girls know. thought he was really handsome when he came in with his wool off. Oh, yeah. I think you're still handsome. I promise. How do you know? Yeah, so he's got a, a shorter know. tail than you. Yes, I would never dock a tail that short. Yeah. Rams are technically okay, but they can get sunburn and stuff there. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. It's it's a weird thing that um, the show people have started. Well, I know why they do it. They do it to make their uh, rumps look squarer. Mm -hmm. Because if they had a, have a bad rump and they have a tail, mm -hmm. it makes them look pointy and they lose and it it doesn't look good. But our theory is, if the t if you have a good rump. Mm -hmm. The tail sits between your butt cheeks mm -hmm. and shows what a perfect rump you have. Mm -hmm. And if you have to cut it off to make it look square, you probably have mm -hmm. a poor rump on your sheep. And you're mm -hmm. trying to hide it, and most people would know that. And same with him. We sheared him off, like, right to the skin. Yeah. And you'll see at the shows, they'll, they'll leave all wool behind there okay. to try and make it look like they got more yeah. muscling and stuff. But... Uh, <laughs> The transparency is better. This is I would, I think all shows should be sh slick shorn, like don't hide it. And the judges say they can tell, but they can't. They put their hands in and feel, mm -hmm. but it's deceptive when you stand back and look at the whole group. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, oh, those two are competitive. Another one. Two brothers. And ben! Like ben! And and if one's getting attention, yeah, the other wants it. <laughs> oh, knock it. Ben. Max, go on. Ben. Right now, Allison's petting Cammy, and Heather's here just waiting her turn. Heather, are you wanting a scratch too? There you go. So because the sheep don't know these guys, they come up slowly. But if as long as you're quiet, they usually always come up. But these are the friendly ones anyway. Heather and Cammy are always uh, always front and center for attention. Ben, knockout doesn't like that. So, are you, is she putting lanolin on your hands? Yeah. Yeah. I can tell that they've been shorn fairly recently. Uh, yeah. But they've got a really thick fleece. It, it's amazing how quickly it grows back. I'll have to forward this to Warren, who's the breeder of him, because, yeah, he's so friendly now. <laughs> Walk to the other end of the feeder there and see if he follows you already. Well, and that's the thing, right? It's always the rams that are this friendly. The ewes can be friendly, but if you're going to have a bunch of friendlies, it's always the rams. The action and, and looking at the girls. And yeah, they'll flirt nose to nose <laughs> and stuff. This is, you're so educational. <laughs> She's a regular. She's a regular. <laughs> Awesome, man. <laughs> <laughs> Aim 
Angel's in here. I don't know why. Oh, they've been all eating. Angel, where are you? We're not going to see her. She's got her face in the trough somewhere. Because these are rams, and the rams are the worst of them all. We're going to see Casanova now. Oh, here's, here's Hilton. Here's Hilton. Okay. See what the, he's looking at us right there with the orange tag. Yeah. That's Hilton. He's half brother to Quincy. Hey, buddy. See, he got in a fight and got a uh, scar tissue on his ear. Okay. That's yeah. why one ear's like Cauliflower that. Cauliflower ear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the... When you say Quincy fell apart, that was his pastern? He was down on his pastern? Yeah, quite. Like, went from, like, a top show shape to flat on his his feet. I mean, she can't leave the farm because they, she can't have tags in her <laughs> you can still tag them. <laughs> How do you tag them? I think they tag them by the tail. Okay. But I, I don't know. Because, I mean, there are goats that, La Mancha goats have no ears. And they have to be tagged too, so I don't know. But she's staying here anyway. She was an accident. A Suffolk jumped over and bred a Dorset, and that was Chewy. Casanova, are you going to say hello? He's really friendly. I think that ripply nose is very special. He's a brat. <laughs> He's a terrible brat. Yeah, he's getting closer, you see. <laughs> Doesn't take much to win him over. <laughs> the general rule is scratch an animal in a place that it can't reach. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Falls in love. Yeah. Chewy, you're not going to come up? Hi, Casanova. Are you being a friend? Can I say hello, mister? Hello. What's going on? You've got a big nose. Hello. You want them to have a nice square muzzle. If you point your muzzles are not as good. She's got a really square muzzle, the one from Saskatchewan. That's the one with the big seven? Yeah. yeah. Out in the prairies, they use the big tags. to let the girls out for a romp. They can't go in their regular pasture today because Arnie's removing manure. And we didn't want them to get in the way of the spreader. So they're just gonna have a little romp around the their baby pasture.
Well, we've been just chatting and sitting in the sunshine. The day turned out really nice. Started off nasty. <laughs> well, as you can see, the sun's starting to go down now. The dogs are eating their dinner and we're gonna call that a day. It was really nice meeting Allison and Audrey today. It's always good to put a face to a name. You talk to people for years on YouTube, but you never or rarely get to actually meet them. So that was a nice visit. And uh, Arnie's got a lot more manure done today while I was playing in the fields with the sheep. So it was a good day. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed your time with us. Thanks for watching and please be sure to join us again tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. Bye for now. This is for those of you who were wondering what happened to Buddy because we don't see Buddy too often. Camera was having a hard time focusing in the dark. But this is Buddy and Ben in the living room, in the house, on the sofa. Because he's shifting like that because he's expecting me to go pet him. The camera doesn't know how to deal with the light because it's dark in here. <laughs>